And good morning, man. We're doing another episode. I got my boy Captain Nelson out here today. We are on the troll, as you can see. And uh, I want to give you guys a couple of quick tips and tricks that he uses and why he uses for uh, trolling for uh, Striper. You want to go give him a breakdown right quick? Yeah, so it's mid-April. We're out here. We're on the Sacramento side of the Delta. Uh, we're targeting these striped bass. We're primarily going to fish with deep divers today, but uh, we're thinking about switching over to shallow as the tide starts to come in later. Uh, we're about an hour from low tide right now, so we're kind of fishing the bottom of the outgoing tide. There is a lot of weeds in the water, but we already got two fish. We got one keeper in the box. Uh, so we're just going to keep working this, this trolling lane I got here. I'm, for the most part, I'm going to be in that 13 to 14 foot of water with the deep divers. Um, I use a 30 pound monofilament or CSX shocker leader, a bumper leader above my lure. So I can get in pretty tight to the bank without my lure snagging up on the bottom. They start hitting bottom usually around 12 and a half feet. So we're gonna keep working this shoreline here. and uh, It's been pretty good the last couple weeks. We had uh, three days in a row, three trips in a row, we caught over 30 fish each day. We got our limits within the first two hours and then uh, just started throwing them back. You know, keep two people in the boat, keep, usually keep three fish and then just keep fishing for a couple more hours, get one more keeper and call it a day. But got my man Jason out here with me today, good fisherman, helping out. Yes, uh, we can't run clients right now because of the lockdown, but uh, on a bigger boat, you can still have two people on board and fish comfortably without being in each other's space. So, see what happens, see what we can do. Well, appreciate it. 